Hello, it's Friday the 2nd of February 2018. So today is a neck brace day as you've no doubt noticed. Um, I know when it's a neck brace day normally because I try to sit up in bed when I wake up in the morning and I can't lift my neck enough to just even sit up in bed it's really painful and stiff and I'm like fighting with it and forcing it and it just won't go up it's just stuck at some weird angle so something quite strange is going on I've realized well this morning instead of my usual carer coming who I'd been told was coming back this morning instead of her the person that came was the boss woman or manager from the office. Now she makes all the decisions. I asked her why she had come without my regular carer because usually if she needs to speak to me about some equipment I need, um, she comes alongside my carer. Um, and she, it was obvious that she wasn't expecting me to ask this and didn't have an answer ready um, and didn't want to give me the real answer because she said oh um, I think your usual carers in another area or oh no she's she's really busy that's it she's really busy um, and I was like okay so I told her to come in anyway um, and went into the kitchen where we would start making my breakfast together, me and the carer. Well, this boss woman, um, she told me to make breakfast and she got out a notebook and started really quickly writing a bunch of notes um, about what I was doing while I was doing it. And at the same time, asking me questions about my family. So, um, I obviously managed to toast my bread and heat up some baked beans and put them on um, but I couldn't put the butter on so I just gave up with that and then I was too exhausted to make a cup of tea and I was at the point of just having to collapse on the floor I hadn't had anything to drink so I asked her to finish making that which she did and I just got the impression that I was on trial or something and she told me when I kept questioning her about what she was doing there and what she was writing she told me that she just wanted to see how well I was getting on which I know when they say that usually means um, see if we can just stop helping you and just abandon you Now, <clears throat> I've just been to get this book where they write down all the information um, about me and what they've done for me every day and I've just opened it up and looked at her notes that she wrote today. So it says, um, Hattie independently prepared her breakfast of beans on toast. Um, that's correct, I did. Um, I was wearing my neck brace, yes that's correct. And then she says, Hattie independently made a hot drink. This is untrue, she made the hot drink for me to try and make me look more independent than I really am because she wants to stop the care service. Hello, so, um, I'm feeling a bit fed up with not being able to do any exercise and I used to really enjoy yoga and there's this um, great YouTube channel with like relaxing yoga with very clear instructions um, by a woman called Adrienne. It's Yoga with Adrienne on YouTube if you want to check it out. Um, I'm not sure how well I'll be able to do any of the poses now because of all my injuries 
but I really really want to give it a go um, and I want to sort of feel like I can get in touch with my body again after having um, all these things go wrong with my joints um, I've kind of lost my confidence of you know physical movement at all so I feel like this would be a good way to maybe try and get that back uh, generally yoga's not recommended for people with hypermobility especially EDS because it stretches things even further which is the opposite of what you want but this is a really relaxing practice that focuses on sort of alignment of the body and things like that so if you did have EDS and you were going to do yoga which you probably shouldn't I'd recommend Adrienne's channel. Right, here goes. <laughs> 